don't have any stock. I've got nothing. Scrunchy holders. I can't even go high enough to like get everything in. <laughs> oh my god. It was the best market I've ever done. <laughs> Wow, it's been so long. I haven't filmed for probably two weeks. Like that is like the longest time I've ever gone without filming. I've just been so flat out. Do I get too ahead of myself? If you don't want to hear me talking about the last two weeks, timestamps down below. Skip <laughs> skip it if you like. And also make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm aiming for 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now, yeah, with that out of the way, what has been going on the last two weeks? Oh my goodness, I have been flat out. Like I knew that October would be very busy for me, but I just didn't realize how, how busy. <laughs> like I really didn't think it would be this crazy. Yeah, so I've just been absolutely flat out. I didn't even get to post a video last week because I just had no time. I've been working crazy hours and just trying to get all these orders out. I'm not even caught up yet. Like there's still a heap of orders that need to go out. Um, but I can't do that until early next week now because I have three markets this weekend. <laughs> three markets <laughs> this weekend. Literally tomorrow. I, this is Thursday, by the way. This is Thursday at four o'clock in the afternoon. I have a market tomorrow at, uh, tomorrow night. And I have Saturday and Sunday. Like there is there is not much time between now and like the start of the markets, which is Friday. Uh, to get stuff done and I've got no stock those okay so I think the reason that everything kind of like went crazy is because of the advent calendars I just did not think about like because last year was so easy because I already had a lot of stock made and it was just like oh yes I'll pick that one that goes straight in there it was fine this year um, not only did I have all the new fabrics so I had to make literally make everything which took up so much of my time because you know there was 12 or 24 items i was making each each advent calendar but also even with my normal standard event calendars which had like old fabrics i had no mini scrunchies uh petite scrunchies were brand new so i had none of them uh xls i haven't been able to keep a stock of them for ages so had no xls <laughs> just branch everything was out of stock so i was i pretty much made like every single item uh, for like, how many have I done so far? I think the first lot I did were, was 11. And then I just, I just posted another six. Um, and I've still got more sitting there. So about probably, I'm gonna say 300 products I've made just for the advent calendars. And yeah, it's just been so hectic trying to do them. I just, I really didn't, uh, I didn't think about how crazy it will be for me to sort of make them all up. Um, yeah, I just didn't really think that far ahead. I should have, like, I don't even know. I just, yeah. So I've just been doing that. <laughs> I've been trying to catch up on orders. It's just been so crazy. And yeah, I've had barely any time for markets and everything. I am uh, double vaxxed now. So I also, oh, that is also why I was behind because I got my double vax, like my second vaccine on like the Friday afternoon, um, like two weeks ago or right here, two weeks ago. And I was, oh my God, I was dead. I, I oh, so, so sick for like three days. So I had to have three, three days off, which usually I don't have any days off. So that put me even further behind. And I still wasn't a hundred percent when I was, you know, like, no, I really need to not be sleeping. I need to be doing stuff. So yeah. Um, so I've just been like super like lethargic and stuff still. Um, yeah, I just, I haven't had a chance to like rest for weeks. It's just been crazy. I cannot wait till like 
Christmas is over and I'm going to, I'm going on a holiday. I'm gonna go see Sophie in Queensland and Reese and I are probably gonna go overseas at this point. Who knows what's gonna happen, but yes, we are hoping to go overseas in February or January as well. So at least then I'll have a bit of a break. <laughs> But yeah, for now, um, yeah, that's just been like my crazy like last two weeks. It's just been absolutely insane. I've just been so worn out. Um, I don't usually get very stressed, but like I really rarely get stressed. Like I'm, I'm very like chill person. I'm like I uh, like right now I'm pretty chill. Like I have three marks on the weekend, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> got no stock. But um, that's another story for later on. But. Yeah, I'm like chill, but yeah, those event calendars and just orders in general just really stressed me out the last two weeks. Like, it's been not fun. Not fun at all. Anyway, with that out of the way, markets. I'm just looking at all my stock down here. I've got nothing. Okay, let's go through. What do I usually have? I'll grab my little book and I'll say what I usually... Actually, I probably just off the top of my head. So, what do I usually have? I usually have mini scrunchies. Nothing. <laughs> mini bows. Nothing. Uh, deluxe bows, about five bows. So I need at least nine, three, six, no, I need at least 18. Fill the board. So I got five. Um, standard bows, I actually have quite a few of because I made a heat before I got um, the second back and then got sick, like not feeling well, and then everything just <laughs> happened. Anyway, um, so I've got a couple of the standard bows. Not many, but a couple. Because I've also had to use them for orders and advent calendars. Because I have been selling a couple of the bow ones. XL scrunchies, nothing. <laughs> I don't sell the medium bunny ears or the small bunny ears or stickers at the markets anymore. Just because there's just too many. Too many items. Just like, nah, I've scrapped all those lines. Petite scrunchies, nothing. Yeah, so I won't even bring them this weekend. Like, it's just another thing I need to think about, which I don't want to. So, yeah, hopefully in the future. Um, the only thing I have stock of is hair claws because obviously I don't make them, I import them from overseas. So I've still got a whole cupboard full of hair claws and that's about it. Um, even my scrunchies, oh my god, like I've got, out of all my scrunchies I made, remember I had, um, earlier this year I had 10 boxes full, which made it down to like 2 boxes, um, which were like my old style. And then um, when I made all of these... I had probably four boxes. I'm now down to one box from these ones. And then my market box is half full. So there's really nothing in there. And then, yeah, I've just got a couple in the baskets, which is, it's nothing. It's no stock. Um, <laughs> so, yes, that's where I'm up to right now. I think that's all the products I usually bring. Yeah. So in other words, I don't have any stock. I've got nothing. I've got nothing and I've got three markets this weekend. Um, for anyone interested, what am I doing? I'm going to show you what markets I'm doing. Um, I also made these. Okay, you probably can't even see that. But I made like little, little calendar thing. I've got eight markets this month. Currently it is the 4th of November. Last time I filmed was my birthday. I just finished editing this vlog, the vlog for it too. <laughs> um, yeah, that was like an outro part for it. So yeah, it's been like two weeks since I filmed anything. Actually, it's been more than two weeks, it's been two weeks and like two days. Oh my god. Okay, so this weekend we've I've got Hayfield Wetlands Friday night, which apparently starts at 5.30. So if it starts at 5.30, I need to be there by 4.30, I need to leave by 3.30. Okay. Um, Yarragon which is one table, so I'm not stressed for Yarrigan because I won't need to bring as much stock because I've only got one table anyway. But that is, that's the 6th of November, that's Saturday, and that's in the hall. And then Sunday is Muraduk Station, which I've never been to, and my mum's going to come help me with that one because I don't know where I'm going. And usually, like, markets I haven't been to before, I'm like, eh, can you someone come? Especially if it's, uh, like, Melbourne Way. This one's, like, near Mornington Peninsula, and because we just got out of like lockdowns and stuff, there's going to be a lot of people around the peninsula because that's like a holiday destination. Uh, so yeah, it, I reckon that one will be really busy. So I'm hoping to do more like uh, stock after Yarragon on Saturday. It's just going to be a really full out, full on, flat out 
next few days really I mean like I haven't stopped since like you know a couple of weeks ago but <laughs> uh, yeah it's gonna be full on uh, I need to make a heap of Christmas stuff I got no Christmas stuff there's just oh my god there's just so much and then I have to also sort out all my like actual boxes because I found that a lot of the boxes I'm bringing to markets um, they're taking up a lot of car space and half of them like I just I don't need them I don't need the boxes um, it's just a heap of stuff in there it's just junk so I need to really do a clean out, which I don't know if I'll have time to do, but we will see. So if you're just joining in from the timestamp, <laughs> I'm going to start making stuff now, now that we've spent 10 minutes talking on here. Um, yeah, I don't know when to start. I think I might start with the bows, um, because that way if I get those out of the way, the bows, the mini bows, deluxe bows, and the mini scrunchies. If I get those out of the way, I know that at least they're done. Because if I don't do them, I will leave them to last minute and then I won't do them. I just, I just know myself. I won't do them. I'll like focus on scrunchies instead. So yeah, I'll do those ranges. Uh, and then, yeah, hope the best. Sorry about all the mess, by the way. Like we've got heaps of stuff up here. Just so much going on. This is all my new stuff. Um, which won't fit in here at the moment. Uh, I just, I just, yeah, I can't help myself. I bought a heap of new stuff. And so I did mention this in the vlog that you guys will be watching tonight. Um, I'm getting, um, what are these called? <laughs> Scrunchy holders made by someone local. So yeah, I'm supporting a local business uh, with these ones. And we came up with this design um, it was harder than you thought, than you think, because we went through a couple different um, designs to get to this one. Um, no glue necessary. It's really quite in there. Holds um, four kilos. So, yeah. These will be coming soon to the store. I'm just waiting for them. They should be here. Um, he's going to deliver them sometime this week. So, yeah. Scrunchy holders. Acrylic scrunchy holders will be in store very soon. Okay, now I'm actually going to like start doing stuff because... Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and talk the whole time. <laughs> I forgot to mention what this vlog was about. Three markets. I'm going to make stuff for the markets. And you're going to come with me. I don't know how much I'll film, but yeah, you'll come with me to the markets. That's the point of this vlog. Also to give you updates on everything that's going on in my life. <laughs> updates. <laughs> okay, I'm going to actually start working now. <laughs> so here's the bows I made earlier, uh, like two weeks ago. And these are the already pre-cut and like pre-ironed. I've been ironing when I'm doing batches. Uh, it's just easier. And it works better. I do prefer the iron, but it's just a bit harder when you're only doing one to get like the iron out and just, yeah, do all that. So when we're doing batches, I usually iron everything that I can anyway. Obviously, metallics and stuff you can't iron. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start with the bows. Here's a close-up of all these fabrics, by the way. Um... These fabrics were purchased for the event calendars. Uh, these, well, those here, them, are brand new. So I haven't used them in the event calendars yet. But I will be taking these to markets. So just in case, I have read it on my um, yeah event calendar thing that scrunchies aren't available online and won't be until January. But I will be bringing them to markets because, uh, yeah, there's a heap of new colors and stuff here. Also another side note, oh my god, I can't stop with all the different things. So I want to tell you guys, just so much has happened. Um, <laughs> I used to have all my stuff at my local post office, but I mean like this was years ago when they first um, changed owners. <laughs> like that's how old they were. Like this is my old logo. That's my old business card. Um, so yeah, I collected all my stuff because like everything's so old. Like this was my first ever scrunchie. Like, it doesn't even have my labels in it. <laughs> and, like, the elastics are weird. Um, yeah. So, I just thought a little flash from the past would be fun to show you guys. So, yeah, these will just go in my clearance. Oh, my God, what the hell's in that? Oh, that's a weird elastic. That's, like, a... And it's not enough, either. That's my good elastic. Well, that's my first ever label that I did. That's funny. Okay. Oh, that one's like a thin. Gosh, this is a mixed bag. The glow up though. Okay, so yeah. 
I just got those back. So they're gonna go in the clearance bin thing that I have. And what else have I got? Oh yeah, these bows. I have a heap of bows, which, I mean, my bows haven't really changed. Although, some of these are a bit lopsided, in my humble opinion. Some of them are right there. Okay, so they can be sold as well. So I've made a couple, I think I'm going to stop there though. I still do have like a pile here and another pile here. Alright, this just came. It's very heavy, I just delivered it. I'm just going to open it up. I do have actual opening up things, but you know. Why use an actual opening up thing when you can use your scissors? <laughs> cool okay so they still have all the um it's like what is it called um the stuff like that comes on the acrylic so it doesn't get scratched i've got two sizes got one and two can you see flo <laughs> she's so interested she loves new boxes, she comes and inspects them all. So like the reason that these are on is to make sure that no scratches or anything that comes, you know, in perfect condition. Are there different sizes or what? There's that one. I'm having trouble with this one though. Okay, it seems to be fitting this one. I don't know why it's not fitting in that other one. Okay, I'm gonna take these off because I won't have much luck getting them off once that thing's in. Yeah. Goes in fine. So the point of it being so hard to get in is so they don't come out without, and you don't need any glue. You just need to wiggle it in there. It does take a little bit of an effort. This was the original one that we did but it literally comes out so easily. And like it moves around, which I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to like put it, like if you had scrunchies on that, that'd fall straight off. It has no grip at all. Whereas these ones, um, we've weighed them. We put like weights on here. And once they're fully in, they can hold like three kilos. So it's still not flush. Is that bent? I think I bent it when I got it out. There we go, <laughs> straight off. <laughs> okay, so these are the stands. I'm gonna get some scrunchies. Oh, and the reason I went with, so we also, as you can see, like the different sizing. I went with this size because I tried the XLs and like other scrunchies on this one, and because of the acrylic on the satin, it like grabbed. Um, so I didn't want, I didn't want that to happen at all. So. I just decided to go with this size. Plus, you know, less materials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that can fit like eight, <laughs> eight of my full size, uh, full size scrunchies. That one fit 12. And as you can see, 
<laughs> the base ain't coming off. Whereas this one, and see that's grabbing already on that mid one. <laughs> Straight out. Okay, so I think I might have to do like a little mini video for people that buy these and just like explain it is hard to get in at first. Um, but yeah, but I might have to test some of these plates because yeah, that one was really, like, I couldn't even get it into this one. So I might have to test the plates before shipping them. Oh, it fits on the, that one. I don't know why that one other, other one didn't fit. Maybe I wasn't trying hard enough. But you get the gist. Scrunchie holders. I think I might keep the brown stuff on because I feel like um, it's just going to end up really dirty and like, I don't know, and be easily scratched if I take them all off. Yeah. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll make a video on how to put it together. Like, I mean, it is obviously basic, but some people might not know, you know, because, like, I've obviously you saw how much, like, you know, you had to actually put a bit of force into it, and some people might be scared to put, like, you know, a bit of force um, and think it doesn't work. So, yeah, I think I might make a video about it. And just, like, you know, you just got to be gentle, but, like, wiggle it in, just do a little bit of force with it. Okay. Um... <laughs> Now that that's done, I made a heap of mini bows and it's not even all of them. They're, oh god, <laughs> yeah. All of them. I'm going to make a couple of the deluxe size bows. And then I'm going to make mini scrunchies and then we're on to XLs and scrunchies. It's six o'clock. I'm going to need some sleep tonight, so I don't want to stay up too late. But we'll try and get it done. I don't think I want to bring face masks. I know some people want face masks still, but I mean, um, Victoria doesn't even need them starting next month because uh, of like the next stage. Because we're all like, there's a 95 or 90% of facts on them. So, um, yeah. Like, obvi like obviously, still need them for some situations, but for most cases, you don't need them, uh, apparently. So, I don't know whether it's worth still making them for markets, especially like when I'm already so busy. Didn't even occur to me to mention, um, it's been deep, like raining <laughs> this whole weekend. Um, you know, cause I'm just so used to, you know, doing markets in terrible weather. I live in Australia. Like what's with all the rain during like summer and spring, like what is, what's going on? But anyway, so <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's meant to be raining. I guess it's been beautiful weather all week. It's been like, you know, 27 degrees. Um, yeah, it's been hot, very sunny, really good weather. But yeah, apparently it's gonna rain tomorrow, the next day and the next day. So that's, you know, three days worth of rain. So tomorrow it's not supposed to rain tomorrow night. And that's when the market is. It's only meant to rain tomorrow morning. Let me just check the others. Um, Yarragon, which is closest to... Oh, look, I've actually got Yarragon on here. I probably don't have one that predicts far enough for that, but 90% chance of rain on the Saturday, but it is meant to be, get up to 26 degrees. So, I mean, that's still good well. Um, but I'm inside for Yarragon, so that doesn't phase me too much. All right, so Melbourne, no. Mornington Peninsula is probably, like, better thing to put for that. Okay, so I saying it's not even meant to rain now on Sunday. Yeah, it's not even meant to rain now. Okay, so earlier in the, yeah, early in the week, there was meant to be like 90% chance of rain the whole weekend, uh, including Friday. So, yeah, that's good. That's good. We might be right to sort of have nice weather and people will be out looking. Well, it's still going to be like kind of cold. It's going to be 16 degrees on Sunday. Well, there, there's, there's my update on the weather. But, you know, we'll see what happens because the weather's so unpredictable. Like, last time I did one that was very close to Hayfield, it was like Mafra. Um, it was meant to be like really, really, really bad weather. And like so many people pulled out. Like when I got there, um, it was, oh, the weather. It was raining, like just really stormy. 
um, like really raining hard. I sat in the car for like 20 minutes. I actually have that one on film. It was like my bad, bad weather market um, that I filmed. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Cause that, okay, so this is really funny and like it is personal, but <laughs> um, that market was like the first time that I actually spoke to Reese on the phone. Um, so that was like in February. That was, that was February the 5th. Cause I remember because it was that day, the market day. Um, oh my god, that's crazy. That's so long ago. I can't believe how long ago that was. So then, yeah, and then, then I met him that night actually. I went, I went to, I went and met him that night and I bought it and we got Maccas. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Sorry, bit of, bit of a story there that wasn't even a part of what I was talking about. But yeah, uh, what I was trying to say is the, that market that I went to, terrible weather. And then all of a sudden at like, 5.30 or whatever, 5 o'clock when it was meant to start, like I set everything up in pouring rain and I only put one table up and then as soon as it started, sun, sun came out. It was beautiful, blue skies, wasn't forecasted at all, it said it was meant to be raining the whole time through and yeah, I had like a fantastic day. I like had a high, like I had a market vibe high. I was just like so ecstatic and yeah, and then I met, um, met my partner that night. <laughs> Because I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm like so bubbly right now. I want to go and meet someone. And then we went and got back. <laughs> Good times. I can't believe how long ago that was there already. Time flies. Oh my goodness. It's like crazy to think like, oh, even like, you know, at the start of the year, my business has grown so much and changed so, in so many different ways. In so many ways. Like, Start this year, I was rarely shipping any parcels. Like, I was on band one, and now I'm in band four. Like, that's um, parcel postage for Shelly Post. Um, yeah, like, I'm shipping so many parcels every week because, like, I wasn't shipping parcels because I didn't, people like weren't really paying the price to ship them. I was able to ship in envelopes for most of my items. But now, with like the introduction of my hair claws and my Excel scrunchies, most people choose to get the get those items so they pay for the parcel postage or they buy so many items that yeah I just part I just post in a parcel anyway because there's just so many they won't fit in an envelope anyway there's me reminiscing and you know talking about everything I'm currently watching my video because I've been away for like two weeks I haven't posted pretty much like it was 13 days or something um since my last post because I didn't post last week um it's doing shocking Oh goodness. So yeah, I really need to catch up with YouTube. I can't wait like next year, like in the slow season for me, like with this stuff. I'm going to really try and get ahead with my YouTube. I've got so many content ideas. Okay. Yeah, there's literally so many. And yeah, that they're, they're coming out, but they probably won't come out till next year now. Cause yeah, I've got just so much on. Oh, I've also already filmed like why you shouldn't do follow for follow. That's already pre-filmed. I just haven't edited it yet. And I kind of feel bad posting it on a Thursday. I really want to start doing two two posts a week, like on a Tuesday night and a Thursday night. Like Tuesday would be for like tips, business tips and stuff, and then Thursday would be my vlogs. But I mean that is an ideal world. <laughs> But so I don't know if that will happen. Like that, that's like a lot on me to like film so many vlogs and stuff. Oh, I'm finished my deluxe bows. How many did we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Cool. That's enough, I think. So now we've got all the bows sorted. All the bows are done. All sizes of the bows. <laughs> I'm gonna start on my mini scrunchies now. I'm going to grab the boxes for them and I'll show you what I've been working on. I actually just used, um, I had like almost 30 tubes made, but I just used all of them for all the event calendars because they were already pre-sewn. So I just um, made them into the scrunchie. Just tidying up before I start on my next thing. Okay, it's a lot darker now because it just like got dark really quick. And also, I've been doing other things for a little bit. So I've got a few tubes that are already pre-sewn. Not many. Um, I've got more over here, but I need to cut them because they're still like full length, massive. I'll be able to make four out of each of those colors. And then I've got a hell heap of 
different materials here. I don't know if I'll make them all, but I'll give it a crack. Um, oh yeah, we've got some more tubes sitting in here. So I'm gonna get started on sewing these all together. So I decided not to do these ones because I've already got heaps. I'm um, just going to set those aside for another time. And I need to sew all these up. Like they're still, yeah, I need to sew across there. Okay, so it is 2.30 in the morning. I, it's bedtime, guys. Okay, so I threaded all the elastic through, all these scrunchies. There's quite a few. Um, like I've sewn probably half of them. I uh, cut and sewn half of them. And then the other half I got out of the tub that I already had that are already pre-sewn tubes. Um, behind the camera, I've got already pre-cut XL scrunchies, which I'll do tomorrow. Um, now, I only have a couple of hours tomorrow morning to do all this, so yeah, I think I have to be really quick. <laughs> but I'm really happy with my progress so far. I've got like a bunch of mini scrunchies, a bunch of these, and hopefully I'll get 
the exhale's done. Um, I at least want to get bare minimum 15 so that I can feel the board, but I'm wanting to get 30, 30 made. But we'll see. And I just, I want to get all these done because that way, you know, I won't be so stressed for like the Yarraga market as well. Um, and you know how I said like, oh, my, my video I posted today after having, you know, a week off wasn't doing well. Well, now it's number one. <laughs> Because like it says uh, how your video is performing compared to the last 10 videos. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Oh, bright. Morning. Okay, so it's 10.30. I decided to just like get ready first. Um, oh my god, it's so bright right now. The clouds. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I decided to get ready first. Like I had a shower, wash my hair and everything. Um, that way I'm ready to go. All I have to do is just like get changed. And of course pack my car because I haven't done that yet. Um, I was going to pack my car until like last minute though because most of my stock is in here. So there's really no point packing it until everything's ready. Um, last night I did all these. I need to sew the elastic together and then sew my label in. And then I also have a massive pile of Excel scrunchies that I want to try and get through as well. Um, I worked out that I could probably leave by 3, 3.30 at the latest because um, it's about 35 minute drive. I thought it was like an hour, so that's pretty good. And the forecast is looking actually really good. Like last night when I was looking, it said it was going to be raining all day up until about 5. But now it's saying it's not even going to rain at all. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and it's meant to be still like pretty warm, I think. It's not cold anyway. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to... think. I think I'll start with all these scrunchies. I'll get all them done. And then I'll start on the Excels And see where I'm at after I finish. Because I haven't cut apart any of the scrunchies yet either. Or put clips in the bows. Um, that's like another thing I need to do. And if you can hear a vacuum. It's because I got the Roomba going. Okay, so I've just finished flipping like the underneath, over, under, whatever. Anyway, I've got eh, two boxes now. There's one and then there's one back here. Now I just need to sew the label in. I'm actually worried that I don't have enough labels. I have a full box, but um, it's not even that full, 2BH. So, there it is. I'm going to have to refill my thingies, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be enough. Because I, I feel like there's, I don't know, 150 here, probably. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that. could be like...
That was the last one for this size scrunchie. And that's all the scrunchies there. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's quite a few here. And I have still a few labels. Not many, but a few. So I need to really make these. It's, oh my ear. I hate wearing my AirPods. Um, oh. um, I still need to like obviously cut all, of, all the strings off and put the clips in for all my items. Um, I do really want to bake spec styles though. It is one o'clock. Like, I don't have a lot of time left to be able to do all this. So, I'm going to quickly smash out a heap of XL scrunchies. I think I'll give myself until about 2. And then, once 2 o'clock comes around, I'm going to have to stop, um, see where I'm up to, and start working on, like, cutting all the threads off and putting the clips in. Like, I can take some with me, but I want to have at least, you know, half of them cut or put the clips in. So, then, when I do get to... Um, the market I've got stock to actually put out because at the moment I don't really have much stock to put out. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished the XLs. There's like not many. There's about 18, I think. Um, it is 2.30, so it means I've got an hour left. I need to go pack the car now just so I know it's done. Um, obviously, there won't be everything in there yet, and then I'll come back in and start cutting all the threads.
So I'll just quickly show what I actually made. I'm gonna take a photo of all this. Obviously everything's not cut apart yet either. I can't even go high enough to like get everything in. <laughs> yeah. All, all made within like 24 hours. <laughs> Okay, so I finished all of the normal size scrunchies and the XLs. Um, I put the clips in the Zlox bows and some of the normal bows. The only things I haven't done are take apart the minis or the mini, mini bows. I haven't put clips in them, but I'm going to do them while I'm up, up there. Okay, so it's almost 3.30, so I really need to go pack my car and quickly get dressed and get on the road. So I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I'm probably going to be like late at this point. I need to find like the tripod. Here it is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, it is 340. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm going right now. And I'll see you guys soon, like when I get there. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll just start from the start because obviously I was so frustrated with trying to find how to get to the bloody place. Um, like, it's kind of like secluded, like to actually you get into the wetland area to like set up your stall. And there wasn't any signs or anything to like say, hey, go this way. Or like there wasn't, from what I could read on like the documents and stuff, I couldn't find anything about where it was. So like I struggled so much. I ended up asking for directions um, from this lovely person <laughs> who was like, just so I had stress I was. I was like almost crying. Like it was 20 minutes. And, like I was already late. I was already stressing. And like I had good reason to be stressing. So I got in there, I started setting up, um, I was probably, I was like halfway set up when my first customer arrived. So people started coming at five, like there was people walking around like probably when I got there, but like people started buying from me at five. So I was still trying to set up while I had this like influx of customers um, coming up and buying stuff. I didn't, I didn't put out my like my signs yet. I hadn't, hadn't put out um, mini any of the mini stuff because like the mini bows and mini scrunchies didn't have any clips or were, weren't cut apart. Um, everything else was sort of set up, but yeah, it was just <laughs> insane. And even like the videos that you've probably seen, um, I couldn't take I couldn't take anything in for probably an hour. So like a lot of it was already very much um, low in stock. I sold out of so many prints within like the first 20, 40 minutes. It was the best market I've ever done. <laughs> and that's like insane because it was a $25 market. Like it was literally, I thought it was just going to be like a, I had no expectations. I had so little expectations for this market because I've done similar to it, like in that similar sort of area. And like I made a couple hundred dollars at one and the other one, you know, like I did terrible, like it wasn't very good. But this one, I did like triple the amount I usually do at a market or like even quad. <laughs> um, and I sold out so much like straight away. Um, like the hair claws were, went crazy. Okay, so I ended up with two tubs free of these size and then the bigger size, which looks like this. So I sold a whole box of scrunchies. Um, probably a whole box and a bit more because my other box is looking a little bit like less than it was when I left. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, I just, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, no, not even in my wildest dreams. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was crazy. And now I'm like, oh no, I've got so much stock to make now. Um, because I have two more markets still to go. This was number one out of three and I've already sold a full tub of scrunchies and at least the hair claws will be easy. I can just go collect them like they're already pre-made like because I, I buy them. I don't make them. So yeah, they're already there in the cupboard. I can just go grab them. But yeah, the scrunchies. Oh, I just want to go to bed, but I feel like I really should make some more scrunchies because I ended up like I brought another tub, right? I bought another tub of scrunchies. Um... I don't even know if I showed you guys. I probably didn't because I was like in such a rush to get out of the house. But I had a full box, like a big box of scrunchies that fit all of my brand new scrunchies that I made today and yesterday. And then I had another tub, which was just random scrunchies from previous markets, which um, were the ones that I usually put up on the board. But it was just full of like um, some of my old style scrunchies and scrunchies like they were just random ones or like weren't very good sellers. Like I pretty much sold the whole tub of all the new stuff and then like I started having to put like the old stock out. Like I didn't even realize how many pegs were empty um, within like the first half hour. I like went to go take photos of the stall and I was like oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah so there's yeah, that I, I I'm lost for words. That was crazy. Um, like my dad came, and like my dad and my um, my dad's girlfriend, and my brother and his girlfriend. So like they came to say hi, and I barely got I I like I like acknowledged them, but I've had so many people. Like my whole stall was full of people. Like I'm I'm just not used to this. Like I know some places like closer to Melbourne. Perhaps like I'm super busy and like that's all you see. But for me, I don't really do Melbourne ones very often. And like I um 
For people that are watching that do Gippsland markets, I know a few of you came and said hello to me today. Um, Creators Collective. That was the vibe. Like, it was that busy. So, I've done a few Creators Collective ones in the past markets, and they, the amount of money I made tonight, bet all of them. <laughs> and those have had, had been my best markets in the past. Um, yeah, wow. I guess this is sort of like the first time I've had my new scrunchies as well. I'm really happy with my scrunchies at the moment. Like, I'm really happy with how much fabric they have. I'm really happy with the way they look. Like before, I wasn't really happy with them because I, I just didn't like the look of them. But now I'm really, really happy with them. So yeah, oh my God. So yeah, this is like the first sort of, I guess, market that I've had a lot of my new style scrunchies and new designs. So yeah, definitely worth um, making all those items. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make more because even though I do only have one table tomorrow and I'm still uncertain about how I'm going to set everything up, I still want to make a heap of prints. Um, like, leather print, that's like the first to go. Um, I tried to have, I think I had, I think I had like 10 leopard print ones and they all went, like all different sort of ones. Um, they all went so straight away. Um, I had people asking for them later on. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, they're already gone. Black scrunchies, um, pinks, just so many pink scrunchies. I need to have a look at what, because I took a photo before and after sort of thing. Um, but yeah. Oh, and it also got super dark. Like, you'll see, it got really, really dark and... Uh, I actually had thought about it today. I was like, I need my lights. I have them. They're solar powered. But where are they? They're at the farm. They're at dad's house. Uh, obviously, I live in Greece. So, uh, that was not an option for me to drop in. Like, Glengarry is on the way to Hayfield. But I did not have the time. And I didn't realize dad was coming tonight. Otherwise, I would have been like, bring the lights. But anyway, it was... Honestly, it was a blessing in disguise being so late because I ended up right down the end, which I thought, oh God, I'm going to like get no sales. I was really worried. Like I was stressing out. Um, there was probably four more people after me. But then they put this massive light bar thing up, um, like the organizers. So I actually could see when um, it got really dark, like it wasn't like vibrant, but I could actually see what I was doing. Whereas like the middle people, like it was so dark for them, like... I walked down to go say hi to some other people and I like, got chatting and yeah, um, it was just so dark further down. Like you couldn't see anything unless, you know, you brought your own lights and I just, yeah, <laughs> probably like a blessing in disguise that I got so lost because otherwise I would have been packing up in the dark, um, pitch darkness. But yeah, oh my goodness. So yeah, now, now I'm like just on a high, like I'm just like, <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to have to make some more scrunchies. <laughs> that's under a bed I'm so tired but I'm also like not tired I don't know I need to sleep though but yeah as for everything else like I didn't realize how many mini scrunchies I made I made so many mini scrunchies I can't even fit them all on the tree like I ended up having heaps behind the sole so pretty much all I need to do tonight is restock the hair claws and then try and make as many scrunchies as I can before midnight I don't want to stay out past midnight but we'll see because <laughs> I have to wake up really early for Yarra again. Because XLs, fun fact, don't sell well at, my, at the markets I go to. I think it's definitely because of the price point. It's super expensive and people don't want to pay that price um, at markets and that's okay. Usually the people that buy the XLs are people that already have purchased from me online and are already like returning customers. But yeah, people, just random people walking past, they do not want to purchase them. And that's okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not going to stress about the XLs because I only sold two of them tonight. Like, yeah, there's, I'm not going to worry about them. I met someone really nice next to me. I didn't catch their name, <laughs> but they sell candles. So I'll have to look them up. Apparently they found, like they know who I am from Buy From The Bush. And I've only posted on there twice. I only posted recently and no one actually like liked it so i don't know if that's where they may have seen me from because yeah they said that they recognize me from um it's like a facebook group all right okay so the other thing is i went to coles because i needed coins i there's so many people who paying with cash which i was surprised with um but that was okay because they weren't paying with a lot of 50s. Like, I ended up with heaps of 50s, but I ended up with a lot of, like, 10s, 20s, and 5s as well. But what I didn't have much of from the last market 
was twos and ones. So I went to Coles and I purchased my lunch bags, which are what I use for my like bags. You know, when you give give a bag to someone, um, I don't really. I might take a video of it tomorrow because I can't believe going out of the car. But I just purchased like oh, I think it was like eight or nine of those packs, and they come with pack of 100 for $2.50 and that's all I use because all my stuff's so small. Uh, I do have really big bags but they're massive because your girl thought small meant like but no when I when I purchase them online they're massive. So I try to use them sparingly because yeah they're just way too big for what I need them for. Um, yeah <laughs> so but yeah I had to like kind of decline people bags tonight because I just didn't have bags to give. Um, I had 10 of the lunch bags I usually bring, but people were pretty cool with it. Like, if they really wanted a bag, I gave them a big bag. Well, I'm talking like they're literally so massive. They're like a large bag. I can't believe, like, it's small. Like, there's no way it's small. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, that's why I went to Coles. So I got my ones and twos, and I got my uh, lunch bags. <laughs> So now I'm, I'm should be stocked up for the rest of the market season. I won't have to go and get any more. I did realize that I was out of bags because I've been using them for the event calendars because they're so much easier than trying to wrap them in the wrapping paper. Um, it's just so much quicker. I've been using them and I use, uh, they're like smaller white ones I have that I use for my stickers. So I've just been using those because they're just so much quicker to do and it's like neater, less sticky tape and stuff. I didn't want to use like too much tape. So like, yeah, all I need to do is like a tiny little tape on the back when it's folded over. I think the most I served in one minute was four people. And then if you go like, I don't know, two minutes either way, that's like 10 people. I like 10 people waiting in line at one point. It was nice. Oh, Okay, I'm going to start talking and actually start doing some work. And then when I go from Yarra again, I'm going to be flat out making more stock because I reckon, um, I've been saying it wrong, Muraduk. I don't know how to say it. I've been saying Muraduk, but it's like Muraduk or something. Or Mura, Muraduk. Muraduk? I don't know. Because that's what um, my dad corrected me. He's like, that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, I need to make heat more stock for that as well. I'm going to go make some stuff. Oh my god. I totally forgot. I have no labels and I haven't mentioned it yet, but I have no paper for the labels. I've got three sheets left. That's like, like maybe 160. I know it sounds like a lot, but I have so many orders sitting there. I've got 25 orders and a heap of them are advent calendars. So I'm going to need the labels for next week. I have some coming. Apparently they'll be delivered. I've I contacted them because I meant to be delivered three days ago. I paid twenty dollars express shipping for them too, and like it wouldn't have cost twenty dollars express because like I know how much stuff is for paper. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, and yeah, they've been delayed or something. They're sitting at the they're sitting at the town net over from me. They've been sitting there for a week. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I've just turned my heat press on. I already had a heap of strips. I think I'm just going to print out one page and you just make what I can with that one page. Because uh, I have like this special transfer paper that I use. Like, I don't really want to use stuff from Officeworks. But I mean, if I have to, I'll go get some Monday, I suppose. But yeah, I'm like completely out of labels. And I'm pretty much out of the paper.
Okay, I've made my 32 scrunchies, or I think it's 32, around about. Um, I'm going to bed now, so, because it's late. I stayed out like 40 minutes past the time I wanted to, and I still have to have a shower. So, yeah, and I also grabbed some extra scrunchies out of the box I have down here. But I mean, there's like nothing left in here, really. There's like, yeah, there's not much. I might just grab a few more to put in there. Oh. Okay, bedtime for me. I'm gonna have a shower. Um, I'm not gonna cut them apart because I'll just cut them apart tomorrow morning because uh, unlike a night market, morning markets that start at 8am, there's usually not really anyone around. So I won't really be stressed <laughs> about people coming up to my stall and stuff. So yeah, that's my plan. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I I was so confused my, why my alarms were going off. I like snoozed them twice and I was like, what is going on? Why are my alarms going off? And I was like, do I have a market? Oh my god, I have a market. Yeah, I was just in another world, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm not doing anything with my face today though because like, I'm going to have to wear a mask anyway because it's inside. And that's currently the restrictions. So I'm like, nah, can't be bothered. It looks pretty gloomy out there. But apparently it doesn't, it's not meant to rain until after the market's finished. And last night, by the way, there was no rain at all. There wasn't even rain, rain at all yesterday. And like, that's, <laughs> the forecasts are always so wrong. Like, earlier in the week it was meant to rain all day. For Friday and Sunday and Sunday. And, you know, I might just get lucky and then maybe it won't rain at all for any of them. But we'll see. Um, yeah, but I'm inside anyway. One table, I think it's going to be pretty chill. Um... <laughs> my friend who does the Murdoch one, Murdoch, Murdoch, I don't know, um, she said that one's crazy busy and I should <laughs> should have been making stock today as so now I'm stressed even more. Ah! That's okay. Um, I think, I don't know whether to go try and see what label, like transfer paper like Officeworks has or just, yeah, I don't know because this is all I have left. I have two more sheets after that but I wanted to save that for orders because I only get 80 to, 80 to a sheet and you know some of them like maybe five well not five percent like a couple like a handful uh, aren't usable they end up like that because sometimes I put it on incorrectly I had coffee I don't have coffee I don't like coffee I don't drink it I had some I already regret it because um, I was like really tired but like it doesn't sit well with me. So <laughs> um, like I'm already regretting it. It just feels like heavy in my stomach right now. That's my little update. I'm gonna go now. I worked out I could probably leave by 6.40 and like still have plenty of time to set up because it's only one table. It's more having to park somewhere because I'm pretty sure I have to go park down a side street, which yeah, isn't ideal, but yeah. Okay, I will see you guys later. I'm thinking that might be easier to transport everything because I can't be lifting right now. <laughs> so I didn't even end up using my trolley because there's a step and it already comes with the table and chair, which is good. So now I'm going to start setting up. I just had to go walk my car or drive my car over that way, away from the market so people can actually park here. <laughs>
I'm home again. <laughs> okay, so this market was really, really good as well. Um, I, I didn't film it a lot again, but I made lots of new friends. <laughs> um, and oh my god, there's so many of you guys. Like, I love when you guys come up and say, Oh, I follow you on Instagram. Oh, I watch all your YouTube videos. I'm like, ah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so another really good day. Um, Oh my god, I should not have drank that coffee this morning though. I was so sick. <laughs> oh, I was going to throw up. Um, so yeah, I won't be drinking your coffee tomorrow morning. I don't drink coffee, like, ever. So I, don't, I shouldn't have drank it. Um, okay, I need to make so much stock. So you know how last night I was like, um, I didn't really sell any XLs, so I probably won't make any more. Well, this market I sold a heap of them. <laughs> so yeah, I need to make more XL scrunchies. Um, I need to make more mini bows, deluxe bows and deluxe bows. I need to make normal scrunchies and I'd like to make some thin elastics as well because I don't have a lot of them. Although I haven't really sold too many thin elastics um, in the past two days. Like, they were, yeah, there's only really kids ones and I have a heap of kids stuff but I more wanted to make some more stuff for like adults that wanted the thin, thin elastic. Um, especially like Christmas prints and like, you know, nice prints, leopard prints and stuff, pinks. Um, I have my friend coming over very soon. My best friend Eileen, she's gonna, she's offered to come help me, the um, absolute angel. Now, I also went to Office Works after I filled up my car, and they had two types of transfer paper that were on the shelf. One was <laughs> 2.2 stars online. This one was four stars online, so it's $40 though. My god, I pay, what, I think I paid 120 for like, Maybe 100 sheets. Hang on, let me let me just go double check that. And I love the sheets that I have. Like they're so much better. Jet Pro Soft Stretch. So I use Jet Pro Soft Stretch Light Wear Heat Transfer Paper. Okay, it must have been 100. Yeah, I paid 100 dollars for. Wait, I paid 125 dollars for 100 pieces. This cost me 40 something dollars, and it only comes with 12 sheets. Like. Oh my god. Anyway, um, so I'm going to test this out. I'm hoping it works properly. It does say HP, but I'm sure I'll be fine in um, my inkjet. Obviously, it is inkjet. I also got um, new ink things because I'm thinking maybe that's why it won't print. I'm still having that print issue where it won't print my labels. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to cry because, yeah, I can only... I don't know why it's not working. Like, there's not a second page or anything on there. It just, yeah, it just won't work for me. So, I will, yeah print out some new transfer paper, hopefully it works because um, I need new labels and then I'm going to start making scrunchies. I think I'm going to prioritize scrunchies first, like I do need to make the deluxe bows and the mini bows but I think scrunchies are going to be probably the best seller um, tomorrow and then I also need to print new um, pricing things because I just hadn't done that and I hadn't like updated my prices for the online website yet. So, yeah, I'm going to print out some new pricing sheets. And, yeah, that's that's what I'm up to right now. Um, hmm. My friend, yeah, uh, Eilish should be here really soon. And I'm going to get, get a head start. stuff for it. What? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, update for you all. The printer, oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know. What, I won't print this specific document. I had to save it as a PDF. The PDF prints, but it's printing backwards. Like, it's printing flipped um, when it's not meant to be printing flipped. So everything I print from the printer now is printing flipped when it's not meant to be printing flipped. <sighs> anyway, um, cause I saved the document, the PDF, I like, I flipped the images and then saved it and now, yeah, everything's printing backwards. Anyway, 
So I just tried the new transfer paper and I actually really like it. <laughs> it's actually really good. So um, I, I might even go as far to say I actually prefer it than my actual paper, which is crazy. So uh, that was the HP transfer paper. Yeah. Um, if anyone's interested, but it is very expensive. Uh, so yeah, I've just cut a few of these. Um, as you can see, they are flipped. So they're backwards. So then when I do heat press them, they're going to come out the right way. Um, I've also got Eileen helping me now. That's a loose, loose <laughs> <laughs> So she's um, just ironing some strips for me uh, to make them like this. So then I can go take them to my heat press and quickly press them to finally make my labels because I spent like an hour trying to work out the printer. Oh, anyway. So yeah, we're going to, as soon as um, I finish, I need to cut all these apart and I'm going to go quickly make some new labels and then I'll be back in here in probably five minutes to start sewing so then I can start flipping. <laughs> so this fabric here is named after Eileen. <laughs> So I named, um, it was part of the Aura collection. Aura? Aura? I don't know. I always, I can't say Is that A-U-R-A? Yeah. Aura. Yeah. Aura? Like the cafe. <laughs> oh, it's A, or, wait, A, U, R, A, I don't know. Don't ask me how to spell it. Um, but yeah, and I named, um, a few of them. One after Sophie from April Scrunchies, who's also doing three markets this weekend. So she's my other best friend. And then also Ali. So I named... All three, not after this fabric, but very similar to this one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making some of these for the market. And yeah, um, Eileen's currently threading scrunchies for me. <laughs> and I'm cutting some new fabrics because I want to get some of the more popular stuff done. So then I'll quickly sew them and then she can flip them by the time she probably finished um, threading all these. Oh, yeah. I almost glued this one back. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished cutting all of these. They are down here. I'm going to sew them now. Alright, let's do this. so much the bench is so dirty <laughs> the reveal <laughs> yum beautiful tasty so we just had some dinner and now we're gonna get back to work for a little bit it's raining though so I think the grounds tomorrow are gonna be really wet and I don't know how it's going to go tomorrow, honestly. Um, I don't know if, yeah, I've lucked out with the last two markets and did really well and tomorrow's going to be really bad. I don't know. But yeah, we have to wake up early because I have to be there quite early to set up, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go back to work. Okay, guys. So, what time is it? It's like 11.20. Um, I wanted to go to bed at 10, um, but didn't quite get there. Um, I think, all right, so here's the scrunchies. Okay, there's more. There's more. Ah, still touch the sewing machine. So, there's all of these, plus all these that I made tonight with Eileen. So, yeah, we smashed out so many. Um, I reckon... There's probably about 150 regular size scrunchies here. And then I have a heap of minis in here as well. So I made like a heap of Christmas ones and like unicorns and stuff. Um, I didn't do any XLs. I didn't do any bows. Uh, mostly because I just didn't have time. I gave up. <laughs> so I was like, oh, can't be bothered now. So yeah. But I'm pretty happy with everything that I've made. And... 
now I just need to, I'm not going to cut anything apart. Um, I'm going to get Ailey to do that in the morning when we're on our way because it's an hour and 45 minutes, I think. Maybe an hour and 50. So, yeah, I just need, I need to pack the car because the car isn't actually packed properly yet. And, yeah. Okay, so a full box and a half of scrunchies. Um, I just need to print some new labels. I think that's it. And then I have to pack the car. Anyway, I'm going to do that right now. Also, I figured out why everything was printing like in reverse. Um, it's because I selected the paper as tra um, like transfer paper, so everything automatically prints in reverse. Just fun facts. Because <laughs> I was like, why is it printing it like flipped? It was printing backwards, everything. Um, but now it's printing the right way, I think. Oh no, oh no, it's printing double sided. So yeah, I had to change what sort of paper it was and everything. Oh my god. I don't even know what it's doing right now. Okay, car's pretty much packed. I've got my signs. That's what I meant. I was printing out. Um, so I got those. I'm just going to. I don't know. This is just like me saying night. Um, it's been raining pretty bad. Um, apparently the ground's gonna be pretty pretty terrible. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know if anyone's gonna come. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. So, like, even though I made. Um, all this stuff, like, I don't know if it will sell. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm really, like, unsure. <laughs> That's okay. So, yeah, I'm going to head to the car now and finish packing the car and then go to bed. Maybe a shower first, though, so, and, yeah, go to bed. And then early wake up for me again tomorrow. Good morning! Okay, so I am so tired, oh my goodness. Um, definitely starting to feel it, but yeah, I'm about to get on my way. Um, it's yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes, but um, my friend that goes to this market said get there quite early and it should be muddy because uh, it's been raining all night. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what to expect. I might try and bring a tarp even if I've got one here. But yeah, okay, I'll see you guys there.
I'm back oh okay so this just goes to show that you just never know what's gonna happen in a market um, this one was meant to be like a really big one and a really good one and I did half of what I did yesterday and like a fourth of what I did the day before like it was pretty bad <laughs> it wasn't very good um, and plus it was like $88 for this store, whereas yesterday was 15 and the day before was 25 And it was also a two-hour drive each way, so it was a four-hour round trip. Whereas before, again, it was like half an hour. It was only half an hour to get to each of those places there and then half an hour back. Um, so yeah, um, the reason that probably not a lot of people... It, it wasn't busy at all. And I think that's because it was very dark, gloomy. It looked like it was going to rain really quite heavy. Um, and it had rained quite a lot that night as well. So I think a lot of people sort of just avoided it. Didn't want to come out, which is fair enough. Um, I, I think I'm still going to do it next month. Because, uh, yeah, like I've heard from other storeholders that it's meant to be like actually really busy. So I think if it was a good day, it would have been better. But, I mean, I'm really, really lucky because, I mean, it was meant to rain all week. It was meant to rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Didn't rain at all. Um, it was just looked really bad weather. It just looks like it was really bad weather today. And it was really sunny and hot, like, both Friday and Saturday for the markets. So, I was super lucky anyway. So, I'm really happy with, like, everything. Um, and I also now have a heap of stock for... Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow. <laughs> I was having to leave stuff for uh, next week's market. So I've got two markets next week. Um, and then, yeah, that would just help me a lot. Oh my god, this flow. Hello. What have you been doing? So, yeah. Um, so I guess that's in the vlog. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty stoked with the results, so from the first two. Awesome. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy busy. Um, so that's really good. Um, the only things I'll probably have to restock for the next market are the XL scrunchies, mini bows, and deluxe bows. Everything else is fully stocked, which is a bonus. Um, and yeah, I can't remember if there's anything else. Oh, oh my god, the food. So, because it was like a Melbourne -y market, the food was so much better. And I had a pulled pork, um, like, bun thing, like, roll with homemade coleslaw stuff. Coles I can't even say that. Coleslaw. <laughs> coleslaw. Slaw. Slaw. Uh, and it was so good. Oh, my gosh. I almost went back and got two because it was just that good. Um, and it was only 10 bucks. It was so cheap, too. And I was having my um, bow buns as well. I had two lots of bow buns. I like bow buns at the, um, for like breakfast and then I also had, yeah, like bow, it, also bow buns but like it was like sort of in a roll, like in a circular. It wasn't like an actual, it was like this <laughs> with like pork inside, um, which I really like those as well. But yeah, I had the pulled pork burger thing first and that was so much better. It was so good. Anyway, that's enough about me talking about food. It's making me hungry. Um, I'm going to unpack my car and then I'm going to have a nap probably because I am so tired and I don't even get a break because tomorrow I have to get out a heap of orders. I've got like 45 orders sitting there. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely keen for this uh, busy season to be over. Um, yeah, just... <laughs> I think, I think what's really, like, messed me up is the event calendars. <laughs> just, yeah, oh, my God. But at least now I have a stock for event calendars as well because I've made a heap of new prints which aren't available on the website, so I can add those in because I added a heap of these to the markets. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is going to probably be a real long one. If you watch the whole way through, thank you very much. Um, and, yeah, just remember to like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, comment uh, if you like helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!